All right, welcome back to another episode of Life of Loz. Obviously, I'm Loz. We are down by the Swan River today. I've got an awesome little episode for you today. I've got a Lambs approved motorcycle scheme bike brought to you by Special K. It is a CB500F. Play the intro. Boom. Okay, so excited to bring you this little CB, uh, CB500F today, brought to you by Special K. Um, always wanted to get my hands on one of these little bikes. Um, I just love uh, how light, how quick and how nimble they are for the weight they are. This is a learner approved motorcycle scheme bike, so this is a sort of the, uh, not the real bottom rung entry level, but this is a, a bike that you would uh, definitely you know, learn so much on. Um, keep it for a lot longer than the smaller displacement ones, the, uh, you know, any of the 250s or the 300s. Um, got enough power just to uh, get you out of uh, any situation. And just, oh man, I just, I just love this little thing. I've only had it for five minutes, um, but yeah, this is wicked. I am, uh, I'm so impressed. I, I, it lived up to its little bit of hype anyway, so. Yeah, pretty excited about this one, so yeah. Okay, so you don't get too many specs on a uh, first ride ride, but uh, this is a 471cc uh, parallel twin, running about 35 kilowatts at about 49 horsepower. Honda, uh, Honda suggested it's running about 42 at the rear wheels. I find that hard to believe, but anyway, that's okay. Um, it's about 190 kilos, uh, 320mm disc at the front, 240mm disc at the back, uh, fully adjustable for your dampening on the front and the back, through your suspension, through the monoshock and uh, conventional forks at the front. Um, this bike, first thing I noticed is how light it is and how well that it carries its weight. This thing is just wicked. I just love it. It's. Um, I was one of the CB1000, so yeah, this is a little uh, expose, sort of little dreamy dream of mine to uh, cruise around. And uh, I've only had this bike for five minutes, but um, yeah, the way that it holds it holds its weight and the way that it does its little thing, I mean, you know, imagine if you had this here and you rode it around for about a week or so, like imagine what you'd be able to do on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's so light, carries its weight absolutely beautifully and um, so nimble definitely enough power to uh to get you out of any sort of situation out on the roads and that sort of stuff um if you go with the uh with the uh, cb 500f version um rather than a smaller displacement little cc bike you'll actually keep this for longer and you'll be able to hone your road craft on a bike for longer um, yeah, this is a great little uh, platform. I think it's uh, 2017, come out at about 7,200 bucks. Uh, I think you can get a bit of a private sale these days for about five three, I think, um, depending on whether peak bike season or all those sorts of things. But the uh, ergos on this bike are absolutely just magnificent. You straight up and down. The field of vision is just perfect. Um, and that little 471cc uh, little motor that uh, they got right across the little 500s platform is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, especially for the little, you know, for the weight of everything and how balanced it is. Like it is, uh, it's a phenomenal little thing. It really is. So, yeah. So this is a, uh, obviously the uh, the learner approved motorcycle scheme motorcycle and. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend, um, you know, like uh, just spend a couple of extra dollars and, you know, because you'll keep this, uh, you'll do, you know, especially when you're just starting out, like you'll do 15, 20,000 Ks easily in the first year because obviously you love riding so much and, uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. All right, so this is my, uh, 
obviously this is a little first ride so yeah just another day in the city bang swan river so yeah thanks for watching our uh, life of loz obviously i am loz make sure you rule the gear all the time uh if it's first time watching my channel or anything that uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one boom